everyone welcome to my channel my name is Jack on this channel I like to do lots of activewear reviews and just other funny videos um today I'm going to do an Alphalete haul I got stuff from the surface collection the Alphalix collection and just some other pieces I got pieces that I was the most interested in and then I just figured I'd make a review to kind of help those out there who still are looking and doing their research. I know Alphalete can be really expensive so before I buy anything I definitely watch all the reviews and kind of get information on the fit and the feel and the sizing. So I just kind of wanted to provide value to you guys if you were kind of similar to my build and wanted more information on the sizing. I got a size medium in everything. I'm typically a 6 to 8 in pants and a medium in tops. I have a, I'm like a 34B bust, but I have a really broad shoulders and rib cage. So I typically get a size medium in all my activewear and that fits me pretty well. And I also have like a short torso. So a lot of the shorts that are popular now just come up too high. I mostly wear sports bras and like the same four pairs of shorts. So it is a little sports bra heavy, but I figure that's still important. So I'll go over each piece and kind of my thoughts and my impressions in case that would be helpful for you. So stick around. So the first piece we have is the dry bra. So it is kind of plain. It has the three straps in the back. Let's see, the material is 68% polyester and 32% elastane. It does feel very soft. I don't know if you can see. It's double brush, so it's a very soft brush pattern on the outside and the inside. I like the logo. I think they it was on the back previously, now it's on the front, so I like that. Here's the bra, and here's the back. It is really stretchy and comfy. I know with Alphalete, sizing can be pretty all over the place, like in their Amplified bra, and the Pulse Kinetic, and the Vault bra. I'm a size small, but in this bra, I got a medium, my true to size, and... It definitely fits well. I'm glad, you know, I didn't do a small. It has a band. The band's not too tight. It's fine for me with my bust that I have, but if you have bigger boobs, I don't know if it'd be as supportive, and it might, like, you might have it creeping out the top. Um, the straps aren't digging in, which sometimes happens to me because I just have, like, huge traps, probably from sitting hunched over all day. And the straps are good. They're not adjustable, and they're kind of thin, but because they're kind of doubled up here, and then you have it going to... The three in the back, I do feel pretty supportive and lifted. I think it's cute. I know earlier when I tried it on, you could see the padding through it. I don't know if that is coming across on camera. I definitely like the white, but it's definitely something where you have to <laughs> know yourself as a person. Like, can I take care of a white bra? You know, not sure if that's me. So this is the tri bra. Fits true to size. If you're in between, probably go down I think if you go up it might not be as supportive in the straps I think true to size and then only if you're between sizes you could probably size down okay so the next bra I have is the surface altitude bra so this one's a little longer line I don't know if you can see it. it's a little longer and in the back it has this really cool detail where there's a cutout and then there's a thin band on the bottom so this one feels really similar to the this one I'm wearing I forget what it's name oh the surface Try bra, try bra. Should be the same, yeah, 68% polyester, 32% elastane. So super brushed, super soft. I don't know if that means it'll cause pilling, but you can definitely see it's picking up lint. So if you have pets or just a lot of lint places, it'll probably pick that up and then you might have to roll it or something. It's very simple, it has two straps, they're not adjustable, and they crisscross in the back and then they have this little detail. I know they had a previous version, I never got that one, but I did read that it kind of ran small and then sometimes the strap would bother you in the back if it was a little tight. So we're going to try this one on and see how it fits. Well, I have the Surface Altitude bra on right now. Same material, so it's super soft and stretchy and has a band in the middle underneath the cups, if you know what I'm saying. So it does have a little more support and lift right underneath and then pretty stretchy at the bottom. So there's no digging in at the bottom, which is really good and kind of something I was worried about. And then you can see the back. It has that band at the bottom and I was I was worried about it being tight. Actually, it's pretty stretchy and it's not bothering me at all. They don't dig in, which is really good. And I really like this one. I kind of like longer line bras just because I can wear them, you know, walking along with being in the gym. If you're in between, I think it would depend on what kind of fit you want. If you kind of want it tighter to be more supportive, 
then you could go your smaller size but if you want it more for like lounging definitely you could go for your bigger size it really just depends on the kind of fit you want i'm a medium and it does it feels like good support for me you know like i don't know if i'd go running in it but i would definitely walk and lift and i don't think i have any qualms about it so yeah it's pretty cute all right let's go to the next item okay so i guess I didn't get that many surface items as I thought. Oh, you can kind of see it's riding up already. So just even walking over there kind of right up. So it kind of, you know, sits more as a bra than a crop. So just be, be wary, be wary of that. And the third surface bra that came out with is the Limitless bra. I got that previously. I didn't find it had enough support for me. It kind of had thin... Two, there's two thin straps and then it was kind of more bandeau so I thought I would like it but just the fit um, was not it it didn't feel supportive and no matter how much I shortened the straps it kind of just felt like I wasn't getting lift or support so I knew I didn't want to try that one again I also got the power so this is the oil stain pattern I got this in the crossover power shorts so the same material very soft and brushed and you can see it has a cross waist. A lot of shorts, like their Amplifies and the other popular shorts, you know, in the activewear face have the really high, like, tapered waistband. But for me, those are just too high and then too tight. So <laughs> I usually don't wear this. So I was interested in trying these with the cross waist. I was hoping they sit a little lower because mid-rise things usually fit me pretty well. Try these. They have like a straight gusset if you can see that. It's not a diamond gusset and then they feel pretty stretchy. So I hate when shorts like dig it on your thighs and just kind of give you that little like line. Um, I know some people like it. I don't like it. So these feel pretty stretchy overall. I got these again in a size medium where I'm usually in between a small and a medium. But for shorts, I usually size up just so I can be um, the most comfortable. Ah, oh, gonna have to move the tripod. Okay, here we go. I couldn't move it far enough away, so I just kind of moved it down. So I don't know, maybe this angle sucks. But this is them. The cross waist comes up pretty well on me. Again, I have a short torso, so I'm sure on normal proportion people, <laughs> these are probably like underneath the belly button you know they probably cross there but on me they come right at the belly button so there's like zero compression on these they're very loose i don't know if that's because i got a size medium so i could imagine like bending over even squatting like you can kind of see it's already rolling down but imagine if you actually worked out in them you would have to like keep pulling them up on the thighs they're very stretchy i'm not getting it pulled in so i think if you do any movement at all they roll down here and then they'll roll up here there's no scrunch on the butt, but I don't know. I think they're squat proof from what I can see. I don't think I'll be keeping these though, just because I like the fit, but they're not functional or practical, you know? So I just feel like I wouldn't wear them. But yeah, these are them. But if you really wanted that snatch look, I would, you could size down. They would be shorter, so that's something to keep in mind. I know a lot of people size up just to get that extra length so I was happy I got a size medium I just didn't feel like they were very functional for me because they would roll down at the waist and up at the leg so I would just rather wear something else next I got the women's ozone bra and this is the color carbon which is like a really pretty dark gray this like kind of reminds me of Gymshark energy seamless with this detailing on the side it's very similar but no holes let's see what material says 90% recycled nylon and 10% Creora spandex. So, not sure what that means. But, here we go. Um, I forgot to say this, but all the bras so far have had removable padding. I usually wear it with the pads. I know a lot of people take them out, which is always an option. None of them have, like, the sewn in cups where you can't take them out. This is the Ozone bra. It definitely has a little bit of length, but it's not, like long enough i think if again you were proportioned normally it would definitely look more of a bra where here it kind of looks like a crop on me i really like this color i think it would go great with a lot of things you can see it has a high neck you either love or you hate i like it but um i don't wear a lot of high neck things just because usually the neck hole's too small <laughs> but this neck hole's fine it's stretched and this is really really stretchy and it's definitely supportive with high with high neck bras. Usually they're more supportive just because you have more coverage. I don't really know what else to say. This is it. 
So the back has a full, full coverage. Um, nothing cut out or anything. And this logo, no, it's a little thinner. It's a little pressed on where the other one was more raised. And this one was a little more pressed on. Got a size medium, fits true to size. To me, if you're in between, again, it depends. If you want it for a more lounge, I would size up. If you want it to work out and like run in and do like high impact activity, probably size down. If you size down, it might be too small in the neck and like the arms and you might feel some digging. So that's just something to keep in mind. But it's not digging at the bottom. It's really stretchy. And yeah, I think it has good support. The last collection I got was from the Alflux collection. And this is actually the collection I'm most excited about. I had the asymmetrical bra in the last collection and I loved it. I just think it's so unique. You look so cool in the gym. You look like you're like crushing your workout. It makes the shoulders look good, the back look good. And so I was just really excited when they were coming out with it in new colors. I'm sure you're aware of the changes by now, but they did shorten it. So it's more of a bra than a crop. I think they like lowered the armpit hole or something, which I never had an issue with in the old one. But I know in the old one, they did say they kind of ran big. Um, so here, they're a little more true to size. I got a medium in the old one and it fit. So I got a medium in this one and just kind of seeing if it'll stay the same. So this color is the whale blue. And it has that really faint tie-dye pattern on it. The wash denim, which is very light, more of a teal. And then you can see there's not as much tie-dye in this, which is kind of, I wish there was more. Dusty Rose also has a very faint tie-dye. I'm really excited for this color for the fall, a very like good transitional color. Brushed on the inside and the outside. Don't know if you can see that. And they also have removable pad. 75% nylon, 25% elastane. They feel very stretchy. They have the rubberized logo. So you can see it's like a little more raised. Yeah, here we go. Which one first? I think I'm most excited for the blue, so I'll do that one first. Okay, so here is the blue, and I don't know how good it looks on camera, but I love it. I think it's so cool, it's very unique. I know asymmetrical bras are coming into trends, so I'm actually doing another video on them. A couple other ones I got from Amazon and some other brands, so look out for that one on the way. But this one is definitely one of my favorites. It's very supportive. So they shortened it so it's less of a crop now and more of a bra. Some people like that, some people won't. I think it's fine because again, there's not that much skin out anyway. It has pads and then there's no like band underneath the pads holding it in. So, but it's still very supportive because there's good coverage and then this strap is nice and thick. And then you can see how thick it is in the back. Um, it does have a cutout, so I know some of the athletes, if you have bigger boobs, like more boobs peek out of here and it might peek out the side, but for me it's fine. I got a medium. It fits like tight. I couldn't imagine, you know, a smaller size, so if you're in between, I would size up. You want the coverage and then this strap. You can see how close it is to my neck. So if you go, if you go down, it might be even like closer and like cutting you off. I would size up if you're in between size. Also got their shorts. This is the Alpha Lux for short. I think they're five inches. I got the whale blue to match my favorite color of the bra. And I know in the changes, I think they said they made the waistband a little more tapered, which you can see. I know in the previous ones, people said they kind of ran big, but I don't know. I got to meet them and they fit fine. It has the logo on the back. And you can see this like you know at the seam how there's some bunching. Probably looks like it's giving you ample room for those glutes which I know a lot of shorts don't and they kind of pull. I think these are good because they're gonna kind of stretch with you. The thighs, they don't feel super stretchy but I don't think there'll be an issue. There's not like a thick seam at the bottom like I think the last version had that really thick seam at the bottom which kind of cinched in but these feel good. So we'll see how they fit. Okay, so this is what I was talking about with my short torso. So if I pulled it up all the way, <laughs> I would look ridiculous. So if I just sit a little lower. So I got a medium, which I think with the new tapered waistband fits fine. More compression than the surface just because it does have that taper in the waist. I don't know if I'd wear them just because with that taper, and this happens in all shorts, you know, it just kind of bulges because of kind of where it hits me. And these are five inch, which I think is a good length. I know, I'd probably scrunch them up a little bit and pull them up. And this is the back. 
Blue's pretty squat proof and they're pretty stretchy so there is no like pulling at the thighs. If you went to the gym in this outfit, you'd feel so cool. But it's probably a little too much for me at this point in time. But here they are. This is the Alphalux Asymmetrical Bra in the Wash Denim. I'm not sure if this color is picking up in the right light. It's like a really faded turquoise. Mine only really is tied on the strap, so it's very much a little lighter and plain in the actual bra part. It might feel the teensiest bit like stretchier than the whale blue. I know you know a lot of lighter colors are a little stretchier than darker colors. And now we have one more color. So this is the Dusty Rose. This fits probably a little bit more like the Whale Blue. Not that I think there's a huge size variation, but if I like had to rank them on stretchiest, it'd be the Wash Denim, then the Dusty Rose, then the Whale Blue. The Whale Blue, the strap also felt a little tighter. Really pretty like muted rose, obviously. It gives me a little bit like Ice Age. It looks like, you know, mammoth skin. I don't know if they wore mammoths, but... Yeah, I feel a little bit more like <laughs> retro. Mm. I'm sweating from changing and all those reviews and probably, I don't know, because I'm nervous. But so thank you for watching this video if you made it all the way to the end. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe to my channel. There will be a lot more videos on activewear and just kind of reviewing the sizing and the fit and the quality. I really liked all the pieces. It'll be really hard to make a decision on which to keep and which not to keep. Your girls gotta, you gotta make those decisions, you know, because <laughs> it's kind of expensive and they launch something like every month, so you can't buy like a million things every month. So I usually just wait and that's why I got pieces from the past three launches. So again, I got a size medium and everything. Comment below if you have any questions and if you have any advice on what I should keep. Thank you. See you next time.